This is a full guide for LAN succession in HR Runes. Every segment will be timestamped in the description below, so feel free to skip to the part that you want. For the minimum AP and DP for HDR, I would recommend at least 269 AP Nova or 257 AP Kutum with 301 DP. If you do not have a 10, then I would recommend you to have at least one bracket higher before granting HDR. For anyone less than 269 AP Nova or 257 AP Kutum, then I would recommend you to go to Akma Temple instead as you can net more money per hour over there. For a buff, most of the time you should be using Simple Cron Mill. If your AP is higher than 277 AP Nova or 265 AP Kutum, then you might be able to consider Exquisite Cron Mill. Campsite Villa buff for extra AP and DP. For droughts, last suggestion should use Beast Drought for the plus 1 HP recovery on every hit. This allows you to sustain your HP while grinding, especially at night time. Of course, you also can consider using Frenzy Drought, but I would recommend for a beginner to use Beast Drought as it's cheaper. Next, we have Alchemy Stone. In this case, I'm using a Vals Heart. You can use other Alchemy Stone as well, but Vals Heart will make the most significant difference in grinding. For skill add-on, you just have to make sure to take a Monster AP add-on. I would recommend to put the Monster AP on either Symbidium or Pendulum Kick. This is up to you as skill add-ons are mostly based on playstyle. This is the skill add-on that I'm currently using. For land succession skills, we have three categories of skills. DPS, Mobility, and Sustain. For DPS skills, you have three main DPS skills which are Blooming Nether Flower, Symbidium, and Blade Dance. Constantly rotate between these three skills while aiming for back attack will grant you the most DPS. When you start to DPS, you can also use Salpery to lower the monster DP, but keep in mind that it has no super armor, so you can be CC'd while doing so. White Heron also have the same effect as Salpery which decrease the monster DP, thus can be used the same way as Salpery. Pendulum Kick can also be used as a filler DPS skill, but the damage is not as much as the three main DPS skills. For mobility skills, you have Phoenix Chase or Eyes of Blood, Spring Breeze into Glide, Furious Chase, Nimble Strike, and Flow Nimble Strike. Mobility skills are used to travel from pack to pack, as in most cases, it will be faster. Spamming Furious Chase while it's on cooldown is also viable to travel to a pack in closer distance. For a sustained skill, you have Crescent Barrage, which has good heals but bad DPS, which is why you only use this skill to heal yourself, not to DPS. Some honorable mention skills are Pendulum Kick and Bleeding Hearts, which are skills that is ranged so that they can be used to pull monsters to you while grinding. But keep in mind that Bleeding Hearts can also push monsters away. So to get to Hishra Runes, you have to find a Black Rift portal that randomly spawned throughout the Great Desert of Valencia and enter the portal. The portal that you find might be an Akman or a Hishra portal, so it's RNG but the Portal destination is fixed, so if you were to exit and enter the exact same portal, it will teleport you to the exact same destination as before, provided that it did not despawn. There are 4 different rotations in Hishra Runes, 5 actually if you separate one of them into 2, but generally it is much more worth it to combine both of them together. This map will be leading you to the rotation from the NPC inside of Hishra Runes. As the name suggested, this is the main rotation in Hishra as it can net you the most trash for certain classes, but not the case for land succession, as the monsters are quite far apart, thus reducing your trash per hour compared to other rotations. This rotation is also very hard to overclear with high AP as you are essentially combining two rotations into one.
this rotation is also known as the black shot rotation one that Lan really shines at even at minimum AP as you can skip the Elton in the middle of the hallway connecting both of the rooms with your flight abilities increasing the chance of rare drops and trash loot and the pools are also quite straightforward I would definitely recommend this rotation if you are new to Hishra this pool that I'm doing skips the Elton in the middle of the hallway connecting both rooms as in my opinion it is much easier for newer players to increase their trash loot power once you get a high AP, you can start doing your pool that includes the Elton as well. Possibly the most contested rotation as it has 7 Elton. As the name suggested, this rotation is the best rotation for land succession in terms of trash loot per hour while maintaining a high chance of rare drops. The pools however are harder to do and require some practice. This rotation is also hard to overclear with high AP as you can extend the rotation in the side room. By extending the rotation, you also can increase the amount of Eltons you have in your rotation.
This rotation is not that good for Lan as the monsters are really far apart, though it is always free for you to grind that and can have up to 9 Eltons if you were to do all the Eltons in the rotation. But this pool that I'm going to show you is only up to 7 Elton as the pool for up to 9 Eltons is really challenging to do as a Lan and it is not consistent. This also reduces your trash per hour as it is already bad compared to other rotations. I would only recommend you to do this rotation if you are really desperate to find a spot to grind that. In conclusion, Tishra is one of the best grinding spots if you are transitioning towards the end game as it has valuable rare drops and also scroll drops which you can run for memory fragment they are constantly in demand. It is also one of the best grinding spots to spend your Agris Fever points on. So for comparison reason, I had done 1 hour in each rotation with the same gear and buffs to show you the difference in trash loot for each rotation. As you can see, the rotation with the highest amount of trash loot is 7 Elton rotation. You can't go wrong with this rotation as the monster's density is good, packs are quite close to one another, has high amount of Elton and Kalkish, but it comes with the drawback of being highly contested. Trash loot at Kalkish is similar to main plus side, but it has a higher amount of Kalkish that increase your rare drop chances. Decent amount of Eltons and it is also quite hard to overclear. Main plus side is just okay for Lan, not the best, not the worst, but it's quite popular for Wizard and Witches, so you might not be able to do the rotation as well. Old Elton is just a rotation that is only worth to do when you have Asha and Castle buff. That is only if other rotations are taken as well. So my recommendation for a newer place is to try out Kalkish rotation first. 
learn the pulling mechanics of the monster and the CC mechanics of the monsters, then you can open your option towards 7 Elton or main plus side. So that is the full guide on Lance Succession in Hishra Runes. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below and let me know if you want to see a full guide for Starzen and Akman or maybe Manchums. Like and subscribe to the channel for more video LAN content. See you next time.